What is up, YouTube? This is Tequan One coming at you with a video. Today I'm going to talk to you about Finding Dory. One of the biggest films of the year, I think. Uh, and if you recall, this film was number two on my most anticipated year list. I was really excited for it. Uh, I love the original. In retrospect, I probably should have put it on my top 12 favorite movies, but yeah, I'm not going to remake that list again. It's, it's about neck and neck with Toy Story, though. I love Finding Nemo. Um, but some were cynically calling this film a cash grab and just thought it wasn't going to be as good. I, however, was just excited to return to this world after 13 years. And this might sound insane, but Finding Dory is just as good as Finding Nemo. It never felt like a retread to me at all. The story felt fresh. It felt exciting. Not just like a collection of moments that play on nostalgia, although there were a couple of those. Uh, in fact, almost none of the supporting cast from the original play a major role here, which is something I was kind of skeptical about. But I was fine with it because, in my opinion, the new characters are just as funny and interesting. My personal favorite was Ed O'Neill as the octopus Hank, but I mean Ty Burrell was pretty funny, as was Idris Elba. Really likable performances all around here. I also really enjoyed Diane Keaton and Eugene Levy as Rory's parents. The film was also incredibly emotional, and just as much, if not more so, than Finding Nemo. Some things really struck a chord with me personally. I don't want to spoil what they are, but it hit kind of close to home. Uh, some gorgeous animation here. The uh, it looked it looked great in 2003, but this film has even better animation. Um, all the sea creatures look unique and, and interesting. Uh, it, it just looks great. Uh, as the soundtrack's pretty good, too, although I think the soundtrack in the original is a little bit better. And Albert Brooks, man, he is fan-friggin-tastic as Marwin. I, I love his character. He's just as likable as he was in the original. Uh, Ellen DeGeneres is still fantastic as Dora. You really feel for her character in this film. And, I mean, the new kid that got to voice Nemo sounded identical to me, but... Nemo actually in this film is much more proactive in my opinion, so I think I kind of liked him more here. And, you know, when I see these characters back, I kind of forgot how much I missed them. You know, it was actually kind of emotional seeing them return. The film is also quite funny. Uh, some minor jokes don't work, but mostly the film is, is downright hilarious. My personal favorite scene was when Dory and Hank are in this children's area. Not going to spoil what happens, but it, it is freaking hilarious. And the film ends uh, satisfactory in my opinion. It's warm. And and it, it I, I just felt really good leaving the theater. Finding Dory is uh, is emotional, it's funny, and in my opinion, just as good as the original. I cannot wait to watch them back to back. Uh, it's probably the best movie of the summer. I it's certainly better than the train wreck that was Warcraft. And I'm gonna give it a ten out of ten. This T one signing out.